right guys, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Back for another episode of DVO. Uh, it's my second one back for a while. Gonna continue on from the last one. So we got our buddy Yago's U34. This uh, used to be our buddy Garrett's. Um, and then Yago purchased this and the black roadkill car that Will used to own, not the black one that I own. Anyway, Yago purchased them both. We made all everything go together to be a turbo in this car. So just buttoning up where we left off from the last video, I just dropped the engine in. But here in the last hour, I've got the clutch in, trans in, drive shafts all up, all that's good. And uh, just buttoning things up, I just threw the ground on, about to put the engine uh, mount nuts on. Power steering pump we can do real quick before we go down with it. Power steering pump. But what I wanted to show you guys was how we've gone across turboing these if you haven't watched our old videos before. So there used to be um, like a lower a, core support yeah like a, a a brace that just went from here over and it just you know you can see the spot weld in a few places and nothing bolted to it it just had some plastic flaps that sat on it to kind of direct air through the radiator we always just knock that out um, when we do these turbo ones and then the radiator or not radiator, the intercoolers that we buy it's like a cheap ebay kit ends up fitting perfectly with this angle right here fits perfectly right here with that angle oh sorry with that angle so they work great and then this is where the ac dryer is mounted factory on a left hand drive car so we have an intercooler piping charge pipe comes down from the turbo goes down there into the intercooler and then intercooler and then across there's this delete plate right here on this side well it's not a delete plate i don't know there's another hole there and on our left hand drive cars there's just a block off that you can just knock out like it took two seconds with a hammer just knocked it down and it's out or i knocked it up whatever i knocked it out and then we run the intercooler piping back up through there and then up and kind of this still has the throttle body pointing that way so we go up over the engine and then in but i just thought i'd show you that that's how we do it it's super simple um the way this one's set up it does go in front of the engine a little bit so we, we ran an e-fan on this one but the clutch fan would definitely be better after i've been doing the turbo m20 stuff and run a clutch fan it's so much better than the e-fan but m30s also don't really have an issue with getting too hot in an e34 so i'm sure it'll work fine this old when this turbo setup was in another car it was a daily driver so some dude in a volvo rolling up i don't know what that is but anyway so i'm gonna keep working on this i'm not gonna highly detail these things i'm gonna try to keep these cars quick and done to show what you guys are doing but for long time watchers you might recognize this car that guy is really bad over here this is, i don't know what he's doing he's michael meyer austin powersing himself pretty good Michael <laughs> but um yeah it's my mom's e46 it's originally she bought it brand new in 2001 and uh it has should the, honestly just film this and put it in the video i'm definitely going to he's still there oh it's but, gonna be like 60 more points <laughs> but uh s54 is in it runs and drives it's not done but it works so we've been doing it for a while now and uh yeah i haven't made videos so you guys haven't seen it but i've driven it like four times so i shouldn't say i've been using it a lot but we'll definitely do some more content on that oh, there's still, still there it, oh he's still there but yeah anyway that's uh that's the s54 car Oh, oh, no, no, not quite. Oh, I think I think this is the last one. Oh, I think he's out of there. Out of there. <laughs> so now we're over at Zach's. There's a lot that's changed over here that you guys don't know about. But making videos. Wow. I don't think we ever talked about that car. I know we never talked about that car. There's a lot going on. We definitely haven't talked about that car. Oh shit! These and, are... and then Zach just talked about or just bought that car last night, which we haven't talked about. But we're not going to see any of them right now. Yeah, but there's some good plans for this. You should get a tip, uh, a preview of what's to come, you though. Show them <laughs> Look how bad this is. This thing's clapped. Dude, someone already fixed it, too. Yeah, they did mean. the uh, the panel bond. Or, like, I don't even know what this is. Paint. But, like, rubber cement. Something. Rubber cement. Dude, there's... It doesn't have an LSD, which kind of sucks. There's a cat. Mine doesn't have an LSD. It'll be good. Look that Guibo is dickered. That's fine. So, this is a new build because we need more builds. So you'll see this maybe. And then Nate over here, Nate got a little hyped on the last day of work over here at Zach's, and uh, that happened. So Did a nice roll, 
rolled over. Turns out Toyotas on 38s aren't donut machines. But he got a new thing today over here somewhere. Oh, the sun's in a horrible spot. But so he's going to put a forerunner body on his truck. So that's pretty cool. But so we're going to get that unloaded and then we're going to get back to my shop. All right. Blue sponsored by alcohol. This is a nice camera. Why are we even watching this? We should be looking at that car over there. Oh yeah, is that an M5? Yeah. Hey, are you forklift certified? Yep. Oh, okay, Coming. cool. Coming. Okay, stop. Go back a bit. That's, that was in the, the test. Stop. Stop. Go down. Yo, this will be the first time a Nissan's pulling out a 4Runner. No one laughed at my joke. Someone's calling me. Hi. Hi. Diego's calling me. Calling me or you? Me. Yo. What's up? We're sketchily unloading a forerunner body with a forklift off a trailer. So, you right, got yeah. you got some straps. Isn't this gonna like wanna spin? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see Look at that. Doing. I'm an engineer, I predicted the problem. He's grabbing his body. Oh boy. Dude, shout out to the Nissan 4000, put in work. Oh. Not lifting very evenly. No, uh, the parking, there's some cable stuck in the trailer over here. It's not stuck to the trailer. It is stuck to the trailer. So I'm not lying to you. <laughs> this is a two forklift kind of deal. This is definitely one of them big jobs. This is what you get on them big, big jobs. Job. <laughs> this is one of them big jobs. Oh, his forks are like way longer. Yep. He's got the man forks. Cool. All right, this is looking promising. The white claw is gonna bounce it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice. Looking real professional-ish. Damn. Let's see. That was pro. All right. Now you just got to wheel her in. You're good on here. Good over there? Yeah, you got about three feet. Maybe, I don't know. I could move it. <laughs> Better not scratch my Calypso 530. Hey. Yeah. Bring her in. Yeah, I mean, I call it good. You could throw that piece of wood down if you want to put it on that. Yeah. Might be the move. I don't know. That's just a thought. Should be okay. Okay. Down? Yeah. Yeah, lay her down, Hoss. You're going to have to lay her down. God dang grass clippings. Oh, wait, hold up, wait. Hold up. <laughs> Go ahead. Sick. My shop's turned into a scrapyard. Oh, yeah. We definitely have mental problems if we're buying stuff like this. And there's just like a shell here, there's a shell here. Hell yeah! Job, dude! 
This looks pretty sick. If this was like the wheels were tucked right now, that would be pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Got motivations to build a slammed runner now. Can we cut springs on a forerunner? Springs, yeah, just cut the leaves, bro. Yeah, let's cut the leaves. Yeah, let's have one leaf. Hell yeah. All right, back. It's a couple days later. Uh, but do some more work on the on the Turbo 535 and uh, got some other things to get done today too. So I started pulling the, the stuff out of the ECU box. So i uh, got the, the DME traction control um, and the auto trans um, thing out. I, I can't remember what this, oh, this didn't have auto trans one. I don't know, whatever. I took all the, the modules that were in there. This one, I can't remember if this one's needed or not though. So I'm gonna leave this right there. Started moving the harness around a little bit. Uh, got the fuel lines where they go, figured out which one was which, didn't hook them up, need to hook up the starter wire down there. But, you know, just some uh, some real basic stuff. This car's gonna have heat this time. The other turbo car didn't have heat, so that'll be nice. And yeah, need to retrofit a fuel pump into that tank. Uh, we're gonna run a Walbro 450 in it. Should have plenty of fuel. This, uh, if you haven't seen this engine and everything, what it was in the black car, it made like 517 or something like that on pump gas. So I don't know if Yago wants to make quite that much. He said something about, he was worried about reliability at that level. So I don't know, but we will, uh, we're going to get her good, get her going. Um, so I'm going to work on that for a little bit, just button up small stuff that's not super entertaining to look at. Uh, I need to pick up an oil filter and some oil for it and yeah then i'm going to uh a buddy drops off another car a mini cooper uh, he said he needed a clutch he was gonna pay me to put a clutch in it it doesn't need a clutch it needs a slaver master so i'm gonna figure out which one get him a quote on that and then another friend needs a diff for his e32 so i'm gonna pull that out of a, a wagon e34 that's out there i think it's a 391 lsd he was looking for it, and I know that car has one. And uh, today it's like gonna be 50, and then start snowing tonight, and then be cold the rest of the week. So today's definitely a day to pull that. And then, yeah, I don't know what else we're gonna up to. I think we might start getting back into um, 2002 stuff. I haven't, I think I might have said earlier in one of these videos that I was just gonna like bail on all the old videos that I, I recorded a lot of videos like since June. Um, I just didn't like put them out, didn't edit them. I spent a lot of time yesterday, I was at home yesterday with my kids, um, and I uh, I got everything organized and set up, so I'm going to edit those videos, I'm going to disperse them in with the other ones, and I'll do like talking uh, voiceovers and things before and after each video so that they make sense timeline-wise, so you don't think that they're current and stuff. So there was some good how-tos in there, um, there was a lot of cool stuff that happened, and you guys should see it. So I'm, I'm not just going to throw away that footage and start fresh. I'm going to bring that into. So maybe there'll be a lot of content coming soon for a while. Um, I'll try to post like every other day or so if I can find the time to edit. And uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get on this more. And then um, probably give an update when I want to take a break on this and bring the, bring the Mini in over there. All right, I've been working on some stuff. Got all the heater hoses in, and the um, expansion tank on, fuel lines are done, starters on. I went to start working on the rest of the harness, and uh, this plug right here doesn't fit into this chassis plug. So this is this is not something that I knew, but apparently at some point they switched over from I would say like the E30 E28 style plug to like the E36 style. I knew the M50s had that, but I just thought all the M30s would have the same harness. So I went and cut this one out of the black car. I assume all those wires are gonna be the same. Um, so I'll do some little wire at RM, but I'm gonna, I guess, replace this plug with this plug. Cause you can see like that one is male. So that one's female and it's just a different size all the way around. So a little bit more work, but no big deal. I got the mini in here. Uh, buddy CJ bought it, thought it needed a clutch. Definitely doesn't need a clutch. It needs a slave cylinder. So he's pretty excited he gets to return his clutch. Um, 
I'm a little bummed that this is a non Cooper S, it's just a regular Cooper. So the slave cylinder is on top of the trans instead of below the trans. So I have to take out the air box, the battery, and the battery tray just to get to the slave cylinder. So, but anyway, I was gonna save him about a thousand dollars. So I think he's pretty excited about that. And uh, I'm excited I don't have to pull another mini apart because you guys don't know this, but working at Zach's, I had to do a head on a mini Cooper, which turned into an engine on a mini Cooper twice and it was um it about broke me so anyway i'm gonna i'm out of butt connectors so i'm gonna go get some connectors for that and uh get that wired up so probably look at a few more things to see if there's anything else i need to go buy i just uh went and ordered the slave cylinder for that and ordered an oil filter for this so we're definitely getting there though i'm uh i'll get pretty excited All right, worked a little more on it. Got the old field drained. Got 10 gallons of fresh 91 in it, which is premium up here in Denver. And that's what the old turbo car ran on. And so we go there, just gonna get the fuel pump assembly in it. So it'll be good. And yeah, but we're gonna, we're gonna go visit a couple people real quick. And I thought, what better car to take than that piece of shit. So, remember in the last video, I said it like ran out of gas. It didn't, uh, so I thought it needed a fuel pump. So I put a fuel pump in it, and now it has a level sender, so now that works. Uh, but it was actually, the fuel pump relay was completely loose in that side. Not the side that we were fucking with relays on. And uh, yeah, so it uh, it's good now. So we'll see. And it's not currently in trans program but it doesn't have reverse so uh um i don't know what that means but we're gonna cruise so i will uh oh god with the cut springs and stuff it's so sketchy it's just, oh god i forgot about the exhaust i wonder if i just knocked it off of it it's probably fine um but Zach's now. Um, I grabbed the thing I was gonna grab. I'll show it to you real quick. We got a fuel tank that's not shitty for another black E34. The E34 by four, so it won't spill fuel everywhere. And if you remember earlier in this video, there was a different Toyota body here. So Nate has made really good progress. And has a thing on a thing. So, I just helped him bolt some of the thing. He's gotta weld some mounts in the rear, but but he doesn't have a truck anymore. He's got a four runner. No more truck, big runner guy. So, so I think he can finish it today, but he doesn't want to. He wants to take it easy I'm, and then. I'm taking it, I mean, shit, I got the body on it one day. I'm gonna just coast now. There you go. But, update on that, he says, wants to drive him by the weekend so that'd be cool but anyway let me get back to my shop well 
It's about the end of the day. I'm exhausted, guys. Cars defeated me. I did all of this shit on this one. And um, yeah, with that different harness, I just can't get it to work. There's just too many empty plugs here. And this main relay just isn't getting power where it needs to get. So I'm going to swap it to the original harness that was in this car tomorrow again. And uh, since I cut these... So short, I'm just gonna go cut another one out of another car that's longer, and then recut all these ones and splice that back in, put all the harness. She should be good. It did fire a couple times too when I jumped the, the relay, so we should be good. And then over here, this uh, mini slave cylinder job has uh, escalated, and uh, now the trans is out. The um, These are all the old pieces of the throw out bearing, so it destroyed itself. And then now this right here, I was gonna hopefully get it back together tonight because I, I had a new clutch and new throw out bearing. But this uh, guide seal shaft, I think that's what it's called, is a, uh, it's gouged pretty good in a couple places. And uh, it's definitely gonna, gonna just catch the other throw out bearing and break it again. So hopefully I can find one of those tomorrow. So I get this thing off my left, but hey, make a little bit more money. It was stupid tearing it apart, but it went quick. It took me about two and a half hours. And I quoted a buddy a little over a thousand to do this. And uh, apparently that's cheap, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get some sleep. Um, I think I'm gonna call it for that on this video. Um, I think the next one is going to be the second part of uh, Cole's S52 E30, that gray one. Uh, like the last one was back in August. Um, the second part of that, and I'll do some talking because so the time like table feels right. But anyway, we can oil all over everything. I uh, hope you guys had a good day. Uh, I'm glad to be back. This is fun recording. I'm gonna go get some sleep and maybe edit a video a little bit so till next time